None of these crossover scripts have been written yet. The movie will open with the basic dinosaur attacking a person, and then the other scene will come along introducing the fast characters. We have absolutely spectacular ideas, spared no expense. And we could make anywhere between one and two billion dollars. I mean, all the fans are going to come see this movie. <laughs> Box office. This movie will not be written only to cater to the Jurassic and Fast fans. Everyone in the world has the right to enjoy this crossover. Sure they will. We'll have a dinosaur car day or something. <laughs> Gee, the lack of humility before the film industry being displayed here staggers me. Thank you, Jurassic World, but I think Universal's ideas are a little bit different to yours. Yes, I know. They're a lot worse. <laughs> now, wait a minute. They haven't even written the script yet. All right, box office. It's okay. Let them talk. I want to hear everyone's opinions. I truly do. Don't you see the danger, Universal, in what you're doing here? Jurassic World is the most awesome franchise the world has ever seen, and you're wielding it like a kid who's found his dad's gun. Uh, if I may, I'll tell you the problem with the franchise crossover. It didn't require any discipline to attain it. You watched that others had done, and you took the next step. You didn't write the movies for yourselves, so you don't take any responsibility for it. You stood on the shoulders and geniuses to think of an idea as fast as you could, and before you even knew what you had. You patented it, packaged it, got spread it all over the internet, and now you're selling it. You want to sell it. I don't think you're giving us so due credit. Our studios have made some of the best movies of all time. We've made crossovers before. Yeah, but your studios were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Star Wars. The last Star Wars films were atrocious. If we bought the right to it and remade a Star Wars series, you wouldn't have something to say for it. Hold on, this isn't a franchise that was obliterated by crossovers or genetic advancements. J.J. Abrams had a shot, and IDMB rated them as shit for a reason. I don't understand this little attitude, especially from a movie. I mean, how can we have the chance to cross over? And not act. Oh, what's so great about crossovers? It's such a violent, penetrative act. Why do you call a crossover? I call it the rape of Jurassic World. The question is, how much can you actually know about the franchises themselves and the fans? And therefore, how could you assume that they'll like the movie? You have the rights to movies that are terrible. And you made them because they made your money. But these are two aggressive fan bases that don't like the idea of this at all. And they'll defend themselves violently if necessary. Steven Spielberg. If there's one person here who can appreciate what I'm trying to do... <sighs> the film industry has ch just changed so rapidly, we're all just running to catch up. I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but look. Fast and Furious and Jurassic World, two movies separated by 1.3 stars and IMDB, are just going to be suddenly thrown into the mix together. How are we supposed to have the slightest idea? What to expect. I don't believe it. I expected you to come down here and defend me from these franchises, and the only one on my side is dumb fucking Toronto. I just want to ride a T-Rex and punch a Brachiosaurus.